Welcome back, guys. So since Dubai Bling season two has been out, a lot of you have questions about me, questions about Ibrahim, and we thought, let's do a video, answer all the fiery questions that you have. And actually, we're gonna ask each other the questions that you guys have for us. So you ready, Ibrahim? Yeah. Okay, you wanna go or I start? Some of these questions are nasty. I know, keep it PG, PG-13. Okay. What is your favorite thing about Islam? Me? Yeah. My favorite thing about Islam is it teaches us tolerance, loving our families, just being peaceful. Next one. Or you want to ask me one? Now I'll ask you. What's your favorite day of the year? Eid. Which one? The one after Ramadan because I get to eat. Good answer. Eid al-Fitr. That's a good answer. Because the first day in the morning I can have my coffee. <laughs> And everything's all happy and we get money. Actually, you're right. That's true. <laughs> it's like an, uh, what they call that? Like um, when, like a nostalgic thing? Nostalgic. It's a nostalgic thing. Like, you know, money and like idea and like, you know. I always like getting idea. Even though I, I'm like growing up and I should give idea. I give yeah, idea, but yeah, I like getting idea. Yeah. It's the best. Okay, next. Are you and Zena friends now? Yes, we are. Season two. Uh, we, we. By the way, that question, you and Zena friends are like. 20 times repeated. I don't know why people are asking because on season two, we all made up in uh, the Besties Cafe. Oh, I have a good one. Is there a Bestie Cafe in Abu Dhabi? No. Soon. Soon. <laughs> let's, Wallah, we let's should. Open, let's open a university. Well, I'm down. Yeah? Like, are we actually doing it? Let's do it. Because it's on video right now. Let's do it. I swear I'm let's down. Let's expand. Well, like, let's take over the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to do it. Okay. Thanks for that question, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to ask you, have you ever been to South Korea? No, I want to go. <gasps> so basically, I'm friends with the Counselor General, okay. the Counselor General of South Korea's in consulate UAE. in UAE. He invited me to his house and I fell in love with uh, South Korea. And my nieces in my house are obsessed with K-pop. So they taught me some South Korean things. So I definitely want to go to South Korea, but I definitely want to do like something for my face. Like they have so much like good skincare routine. The and best stuff like that. in the yeah. world. I've been to South Korea and you're going to love it. And if you go... We're going to go with Marwan. It's going to be a whole trip. Okay. We're all going together. Okay. Let me ask you one more question. <laughs> one question. What are your favorite hair products? If you have any, Ibrahim. Believe it or not. All this. Naturalo. Natural. <laughs> so basically I don't put anything into my hair. Okay. I just have a really good hair care routine. I only shampoo and condition my hair Three times a week, sometimes two times a week. Ew, you're no, so dirty. No, because mm. if you wash it too joking, much, I'm you joking. take out the natural oils in your hair. That's true. And I'm not a person, even when I go to the gym, when I sweat, I don't smell because I don't eat unhealthy food, you know? So you barely, like, thank God you never smell any body odor from me because basically I own a flower shop. So I'm like flowers mm. and I own their own when company. You so when you sweat, you smell like perfume. Yes. I love that. I came directly from the gym to here and... Well, I mean, I can't be rude to my guests and say they stink, obviously. Danya. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Are you going to travel this year? Yes. South Korea with Marwan and Ibrahim. <laughs> we're doing it. And Morocco. We said we're going to go yeah, to Morocco. Actually, one person here says, uh, come to Morocco. See? And then she has like celebration things. We're coming. Voila, inshallah. Okay. Um, your question Do you want children now? I want children yesterday. Aww. Like, like, Mashallah, mashallah. When I see you and your kids together, I don't feel jealous, but I also want it. You know, like I'm so yeah. happy for you guys and I love Thank the you. relationship and I love the the vibe of having kids in the house. And I just, I always ask Allah that may Allah give me healthy children inshallah. that I can take care of them and make them the best versions of themselves. I think you're going to be an amazing but dad. But honestly, I want my children to be naughty. Oh no, you don't. I my think naughty kids, kids are, are naughty. Funny. I think it's funny. They're funny. But when you're the parent, <laughs> it's, it's not, not so funny. funny. <laughs> no, trust me. <laughs> but it's entertaining for sure. You know, I always say, I joke and I say, you're my third child, right? Yeah, I heard, I I heard, I heard that. I have Zaid, Mira, and And you're very naughty, Ibrahim. So, um, okay, I love this question. I have to give it to you. Tell me. If you could get rid of one, th of one clothing piece of DJ Bliss, what would it be? Mm, it would either be his sunglasses or his hat. Which one? I think his hat because he actually looks really good without a hat. So his hat. Okay. That's a good question. Ooh, Ibrahim. This is dun-dun-dun. Oh, be careful because if you come at me, I got nasty <laughs> ones too. I know, I know. 
Okay, fine. I'm not going to ask. No, you. no, go ask. How old are you? <laughs> My birthday you was a few days ago. About, huh? I'm younger than you. You're younger than me? Yeah. That's a lie. <laughs> 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 uh, so I, I knew you were not going to answer that question. Okay. One other question, please. Can I ask this? Yeah. Are you really a prince? Um, I look in the mirror and I tell myself that I am time and time after time. So when you keep telling yourself that, you end up believing your own lie. <laughs> you know I what's funny? I love that question. Is People that, think you're really that a prince. Before, before my, um, my, the blooming man, it was Prince. No way. It was Prince Ibs. Like IBS. No way. So then my, 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 what do you call it? My marketing team to like, okay, Prince is very cocky. Like you already have that, like, you know, handsome guy look and you don't need more of that. And IBS, like, it's like irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> so they're like, no. <laughs> so like, Prince okay. Irritable bowel syndrome. They gave me like a list of things and I chose the Blooming Man. I like that. Blooming yeah. Man suits you. Um, okay. You asked me. Okay. Um, how did you and Ibrahim come up with the Besties Cafe? Hmm. So they're asking me that question. Yeah. Um, so I'll answer the question and maybe you can answer after okay. me. So the way we came up with the Besties Cafe, it was actually a joke. And we're like, how funny would it be if we started the cafe and called it the Besties Cafe? And then it became a reality because we were like, let's actually do it. And we like, well, it started, like, well, like why not? Yeah. Yeah. We're like, we are the besties. Ibrahim has amazing knowledge in how to open a cafe and all of that. And we thought like, why not? Let's just put it together. So oh, true. I think it was like, you know, like they say, like a lot of things happen by mistake. So it's like sometimes as a joke or like, you know, how they made, how they end up making potato chips is that they were, they, someone cut the um, potatoes so thin mm -hmm. that it became up so crispy. And that's how potato chips happen. Besties Cafe was, was just like us making fun of. See, what you don't understand is that when we call each other besties, we're, we're trying to piss people off. Like, yeah. it's not like, like we are like children talk, calling each other besties. We say it just like to piss other people off. But now and it's even actually- even when we call each other, hey, bestie. Hey, yeah, like when people are around us, yeah. like they, it's like me and my mom, like my mom, she's like, hey, baby boy, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. my brothers and sisters, they also get angry. So it's kind of like a teasing thing. But we so are besties. We are besties, but we do it to like tease people, like to feel yeah. jealous of our relationship. Because we have that, like we don't need to say we're besties to prove that we're besties. We are exactly. best friends. Exactly. And we're also more, we're more than best friends. We're family. So basically it was a joke and it turned it into reality. And a successful reality. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. My turn. Uh, what do you think about all the negative comments about Dania and her couple? What couple? I think what she means about me and Marwan. You wish you had a relationship like that? <laughs> you absolutely wish. We know when I met Marwan and Dania, when I met DJ Bliss and Dania, I told my wife that that is the ideal relationship I see. Where each one has their own life. They respect each other. They love each other. They want the best for each other, but they're not in each other's face 24 seven. Marwan does his thing. Dania does her thing. At the end of the day, they come together as husband and wife, as mother and father, and they become parents to their children and they deal with things, you know, like adults. I love their relationship. I think it's like, it's marriage and friendship together. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. And I people, appreciate it. anyone who says anything, but they're just jealous because they're miserable. They probably just got dumped like the same day. Mm-hmm. Okay, one more question. Are you and Zena in talking terms? Absolutely. I'm going to her event today. Like I literally got to go address to go to her. I am the company event to support her. Oh. I'm going to go there with like, with honors, you know? Like, we're going together. Yes. Yeah. We're yes, going to go support. Absolutely. Power to I am the company. Yes. Okay. This is a very important question for you. Yeah. Why are you so handsome? <laughs> you know, I asked myself that <laughs> Look question. Who asked you. Look who asked you the question. <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> So um, I would say I get it from my mama Because ah. my mama is com You know her complexion It's like you know very soft And very um, You do look like, you, like your mom Yeah she bit. has I actually like I look poor like my, my grandfather From my mom's side mm. uh, More than my dad's side So wow. I think it's the mix of of, both, of all the different nationalities and all the- The American and the Arab. Yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot of mix going on there. Mm, interesting. Okay, which days, this is for both of us, which days are you at the Besties Cafe? I want to fly to Dubai from Australia to see you. Actually, it's for you, my fave. Oh, um, if you really that much really want to see me, just text me when you arrive and I'll definitely try my best Aww, to make so it sweet. to see you and at least spend- some time to get to know you as much as I can. You know, it's very difficult because we get these messages all the time. And sometimes my wife tells me like, Ibrahim, you're doing too much for 
trying to please everyone. I think so too. But yeah. For me, if whatever, if, for me, it's like a drug. Seeing people happy is like a drug. I had someone come the other day. I remember from Trinidad, and she said it took 36 hours wow. to reach Dubai, and we came directly to, to Forever Rose Cafe, and we want to see you. And how can I be just give them one photo or no, I have to yeah. give them something more. You know, they came so far away. And for me, being able to be something in someone's life is the ultimate pleasure mm. of spending all that time and filming and doing what we do is just to see people happy makes me so warm inside. It makes me feel that I'm actually useful. Yeah. No, I've seen I've seen how you are with your fans and you're amazing. And then the Besties Cafe, I think we should start going to the Besties we Cafe. We should go regularly. Random days random during the days. week. Yeah, I agree. We started, but I think we should do it again. Maybe today, today we're going to go. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. Let's, let's go, go today. Let's go. <laughs> One more question. Would you take a second wife if she is an American Muslim living in Dubai? What are this, this all the fan uh, marriage requests on your questions? You know something? When I read these messages, it breaks my heart. Why? Because I believe everyone deserves love, you know, and everyone deserves to be having someone they love. And especially if they fell in love with a personality online or like on a TV, like for example, someone loves my personality and they feel that I'm the type of person that, that they can live with. I feel bad that I can't fulfill that need for them. And, but yet I want them to be happy, but obviously can't be with me because I'm taken and I love my wife and I'll never do something to hurt her. But I also want that person to be happy and content with their life. So I think I might have to open like a matchmaking <laughs> something. Because I would love to you know see something? that. You know I something? You know when I said in, in Dubai Bling season two, I said that, um, you know, Farhana, why don't you go looking for a guy? She should come to me. I can find her somewhere. Yeah. You know how many people send me that clip and saying, we are coming to you for you to find us a man. Oh my gosh. So I just like, oh damn, I didn't know I was going to say something. I was going to get so much like people actually. So... I don't know. I might just collect, but you know what? There's more women than men. There's more women asking me than men asking me to find them a woman. Yeah, because I'm sure women have have had bad experience. Men don't care. Men are like, we'll go, we'll take whatever. I don't. I mean, I just, I, I honestly and truly want to see everyone happy. Everyone deserves to have someone they love. Everyone deserves to find love. That's true. Inshallah. Let's, Let's pray, pray for her. Allah, Let's admit, pray for I her pray to for find her. someone. Then if she finds someone better than me, Inshallah. Yeah. Amen. How was your experience filming Dubai Blink and was it all scripted? It was not all scripted and it was a very stressful but fun experience. Best thing is I got to see you. Best thing is I got to work with my best friend and my husband and some of my friends. So it was fun. Do you like BTS? What's BTS? They're a K-pop band. Um, I don't mind them. But I don't actually one thing about me a lot of people don't that don't that doesn't know, and I never said it in publicly is I don't care about any celebrity. Mm -hmm. And you notice, Danya, because whenever yeah. we met celebrities, <laughs> Danya is like dying for a photo. And I'm like, no, no, don't take a picture with them. No, that's not true. Danya, I'm like, you know, because Danya, she grew no, up. I, like, don't, I don't die for a lot of celebrities. Only the ones that I truly feel like have impacted my life in a way. Like I, 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 like I would like to meet them, take a picture with and them. I go in, and I'm over there giving her a class. I'm like, Danya, don't go take a picture with them because they should be taking a picture with you because you're on the bay blink. They're exactly. not. Exactly. But it's just, no, for me, it's just like, the thing is that if you don't know me, I don't know you. It's simple. If you know but me. But you know, a lot of celebrities know us, but they don't. If they, they know me they and they look, okay, if they know me and they look at me and they smile and they'll be like, you made you made me laugh on the bay bling or something or they created eye contact with me. I might go up and say hi, but I'm not going to post. I meet celebrities all the time. You know, when I was in, uh, when I was in, um, Middle Beast, I saw like Will Smith and Chris Brown and Travis Scott. Well, you Scott. take a picture with Will Smith. Because when he walked into the room, he had a smile from ear he's to ear. He's such a nice person, And Will he's Smith. such a nice person. He yeah. is so respectful. Yeah. And he came up to me. He's like, hey, but what's up? No like, way. I swear because it was a small place. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm like, everyone was taking photos. I'm like, and then he's like, he's like, you know, like, that's a French Prince of Bel-Air, you know, that's, a, you know. You know, he he's friends with Marwan and he knows Zayed by name. He always messages Marwan. He's like, how is Zayed? Like he's, he's that kind of person. He's such a genuine person. That's like yeah. one of the very few celebrities that I'm honored to take a photo he, with. He is an amazing person. So you you chose right with your pictures. Yeah. But I still didn't yeah. put it as a main post. It was only on a story. That's true. If someone wants to follow back, will you follow back a fan? I don't follow people that I haven't met. Otherwise I'll be following half the world. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Brazil loves you, Ibrahim. So these uh, are not questions. These are just fan Brazil, messages. Let me tell you something about Brazil. Brazil is a vibe, okay? Brazil is where we have to also go, okay? They have yes. this thing called Carnival. 
Yes. And it is the best. We have so many fans in Brazil. I think like more than 15% of my followers are from Brazil. Yeah. And Brazil, the reason why they love us so much and they especially love Dubai Bling is because we relate to their lifestyle. So yeah, we have to go to Brazil. Okay, done. Morocco, Brazil, India, South Korea, we're coming. Yes. We're doing a- A, a tour. A world tour. <laughs> Uh, this is a good question someone asked you. How many times does a man fall in love? Very good question. Um, I don't believe a man can love two people at the same time. Speaking for myself, I was never a different man than what I am. But as Ibrahim, I don't believe it's it's possible. Um, because when you love someone, you're complete with that person. Um, but a man can fall in love and... Forget the person if that person hurt him and move on to another person. So a man can fall in love endless times. And I think a man recovers a lot faster than a woman because men basically judge things about, you know, men judge things differently than women do. M women are more emotional. So they're, they're, they hold grudges a lot longer. So it's a lot easier for a man to, to move on, but it's not difficult for a woman to move on. I realize that women take things to heart a lot more. How do you manage being an amazing mom, wife, a best friend, and a businesswoman? I honestly don't know. I think I have Allah always guiding me and, and helping me. So basically you just do day by day. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever no happens. And it just always, alhamdulillah, works out. I think my, my intentions are pure and I put in the hard work and it just works out. Last question for you, Ibrahim. Okay. I think it's a good question to end on. Is it true that in Dubai, dreams come true? Dreams come true anywhere where you want them to come true. I love that. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so it's where you want, where you believe, when you have the passion, it can come true. You don't have to be in a certain place or in a certain situation for your dream to come true. Follow it's all your in dream. Here, in your heart. It's all in your heart. Follow your dream. Follow your heart. Trust the process be happy you're the best bestie thank you guys for watching this if you have more questions leave in the comments below we'll try to answer them and make sure you like subscribe share with a friend and we'll see you on the next video so guys it was wonderful answering all your questions if you have more questions please put it on the comments below we would love to answer them stay blessed stay happy stay positive and keep on blinging